So, um, yesterday somebody sent me something online, and he wanted to know whether that's true. Um, the story of say whether central bank is resuming to give bureau the change operators money. So, let's run through. Um, sometimes two years ago, when Godwin and was the governor of central bank, and um, our guy, the top, Ogadebuari, was the president. What they do that time is you will register as a bureau the change operator, so they have a market where they're going to sell you dollar. So you will go there and buy dollar at the bank rate. The job of those people now to be able to put the inflow into the public for people who want to go pay school fees, those who want to pay healthcare abroad. The bureau the change operators are supposed to be helping them pay at the bank rate. But not what the bureau the change operators call it do. They go collect the money at 450. They go order so that dollar go high. Then they go sell them at 750. So if you buy one million dollars. At 450 million, you can automatically sell at 750 million, a quick 300 million in one day. So, what the then central bank governor did was to stop it and said the central bank is no longer going to give money to build the change operators again because they sell them black market. Although people like Governor Matawale kept accusing him, say, in the seller, give the guys on credit so he can help you make 300 million in one day and even 3 billion in one day if you be a guy. But President Bola Mentinibu came back. Came into power. They dragged the matter go here, drag go here, try to unify the dollar and the naira. No work. But now, the CBN have decided that they are going to be giving the BDCs money again to start selling. But now they are going to checkmate them properly, not like before. Let me read you the news. Breaking: CBN brings back BDC, introduces new operational mechanisms to bureau the change operators in Nigeria. In a bid to enhance the efficiency of the Nigerian foreign exchange market, the Central Bank of Nigeria has unveiled a series of operational changes for the bureau the change segment. The announcement made on August 17, 2023, outlines key measures aimed at streamlining and improving the BDC operations. Under the new framework, the spread on buying and selling by BDC operators is set to fall within a permissible range of minus 2.5%. So plus 2.5% of the Nigerian foreign exchange market windows weighted average rate for the previous day. This move is expected to provide more stability and transparency to exchange rate fluctuations, ultimately benefiting both the BDC operators and the general public. Another significant alteration is the mandatory submission of periodic financial reports by BDC operators. These reports, including daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly and yearly renditions, are to be submitted through the upgraded financial institution forex rendition system, tailored to meet the specific requirements of each operator. This change aims to enhance oversight and ensure that the BDC sector operates with greater accountability. The, the cycle further emphasizes that failure to submit accurate returns within the specified time frame will result in sanctions potentially leading to the withdrawal of operating licenses. Even in cases where BDC operators had no transaction during a given period, they are required to submit new returns, thereby fostering a culture of compliance and thorough record keeping. All BDC operators and the public are also familiarized themselves with these new guidelines and adhere to them meticulously. By implementing these measures, the Central Bank of Nigeria anticipates a more robust and well-regulated BDC segment that aligns with broader efforts to enhance Nigerians' foreign exchange market efficiency. Now to the most important part of it. What does this mean? In a significant shift, this move marks the re-entry of BDCs into the country's foreign exchange market. This move marks a departure from previous policies, including those enacted under the tenure of former CBN governor, Godwin Emifile, which had temporarily excluded BDC operators from participating in the market. The new policy signifies a concerted effort by the central bank to re-engage BDC operators and reintegrate them into the foreign exchange landscape. So it is simple. If you be BDC operator and then they sell you dollar, you must remit. You must talk how much you sell that week. In fact, if you not sell, you must still sell and no sell. That's why they say you must give weekly report, daily report, and monthly report so that they can segment you. You know, we'll be like, say, anybody just sell any idea. But you know, we know they trust our government finish. Inside the segmenting, another segmenting day. <laughs> that means inside that your area, another area day inside. But if you can do that, it means apart from the bank, people can still get money from Buru the change operators. But I would have really preferred that we run it with the banks the way we are running it. We don't trust private individuals. They're the hustle fire. You understand? But let's see if the government have put all policies in check.